guys, it's Caitlin, and today I am going to be sharing with you all of the books that I've read in December. Now, December was not the best reading month for me, and I'm blaming it primarily on the holidays and the fact that I got a new dog, and just a lot happened this month. So, but I did get to read four books and they were really good books too, so quality over quantity. I am almost done with one more book now. I was tempted to just read like all of it last night to put in this video, but I just did not really feel like it. I was up late the night before and I just wanted a really good night's sleep, so I was just like, it can be in next month, it's fine. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first book that I read this month is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare and I have been rereading The Mortal Instruments starting in I think October when I finished The Infernal Devices for a second time. This one, I'm gonna be honest, not my favorite of The Mortal Instruments. Uh, it was very very slow for me. There was not a lot put into it and just not her best work in my opinion. I did give this book three stars, which is really low for Cassandra Clare because I love like all of her books and to even give one of her books a three star rating is just, it is not like me at all. Not my favorite, just very slow. I do really like the cliffhanger at the end though and I am really enjoying my reread of this series. The next book I read this month which was actually in my reading vlog, which I will link down below, is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I gave this book four stars because it is a really captivating read and it's very quick, very fast paced, but the ending was not a fan of the ending. I said this in my reading vlog too, I just did not like the ending, it just did not agree with me, but the rest of this book is really good. This book is about this girl who she has this rare disease that keeps her inside of her house. She really only knows her mom and her nurse, but then this really cute boy moves in next door and suddenly she is all about him and her mom starts noticing a little bit, but it's really her nurse that notices that she is really not doing much school anymore and that she is kind of distracted all the time and from there on you really see the relationship blossom between these two and I thought the romance was really well developed and I really really enjoyed the romance and everything about this book highly recommend it and will definitely be reading it again. The third book that I read in the month of December is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This book follows our main character, Stevie, who she loves crime and she loves the Ellingham Academy case, which happens to be the school that she just got into. And she went to this academy for the pure purpose of solving the case, even though no one before her has been able to. And this book follows her on her journey of really delving deep into the case and it follows her and her friends as they have some murders pop up. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. The second I finished it, I went to go pick up the second one, which I never usually do. I'm not one to binge series, but this one, I couldn't stop myself from going to pick up the next one. The fourth book I read this month is probably no surprise considering I just said that I had to rush to pick up the sequel, and that is The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. This book I gave five out of five stars. I was hooked the entire time from the cliffhanger that they leave off on in Truly Devious to the very last word of this book I was hooked and I am so excited to see how the story concludes in The Hand on the Wall which is the third and final book in this series and it is coming out next month I'm so excited to read it I have already pre-ordered it just 
from where this book left off, I know I'm not going to be disappointed. So this book, I can't say too much about this book without giving stuff away, but this book did continue on following Stevie as she delves farther into the case from 1936 at Ellingham Academy and also we find out more about what happened back then and we also see some other things that happen in the present time that keep you really hooked to find out why it's happening. So that was all of the books that I have read in the month of December. It was a very slow reading month but I did really love all of the books that I read so to me it was worth it. I really am going to try and read more books in January because January is going to be such a slower month compared to December. So I'm really excited to get reading in January. I'm also going to be doing a anticipated reads of 2020 video that should be coming up tomorrow. I'm going to be filming it today but when you see it it'll be tomorrow and I can't wait for all of these books to come out. So stay tuned for that video and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you get notified every time that I post and I will see you guys in my next video.